Gary haven't unlocked his first bass this year so silver leg it is he's gonna catch a lot of bass let's go I'm gonna take you to the best spot I mean the, the thing is uh, it's a lot colder today and uh, I'm not sure if they're still on the same spot but uh, it won't be far So normally I just stand on the log and fish here. Yeah. You can walk a little bit further. I'm gonna just fish by your side. Okay. I'm gonna fish here. Right. Yeah, but uh, the the log. You said the good spot is all the way down, right? Yeah, we're gonna fish all the way okay. over there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just go on the log. Yeah. The first one I'm gonna try is definitely the bug. This juicy four-inch bug. Fish number one. Whoa, that's a big mondo. Come over here. This is not gonna be the biggest fish we're gonna catch today. Let's go. And won't be the last one. Let's uh, go. What are you using, the bug? Yeah, the bug. Four a, inch bug. The big bug. Right. Yeah. Senko is gonna work. Senko, yeah. Yeah. If you don't believe in the Senko, believe in me. I believe you. Cast out. Close up bait, let it let it sink for a minute. Yeah. Normally you will see your line stretch out, but this is very shallow, so it's gonna be okay. And once in a while, you just hold cut up on the tree, it's okay. Yeah. Once in a while, you just pop it like that. Yeah, reel it really slow. Pop you, it. you don't reel. Don't reel. You pop it and you retrieve the slack. Okay. You pop it, retrieve the slack. Okay. Cool, let's move on. Let's go. Fish on, baby. A small one. Look how weird I hooked him. I hooked him on the face. You it's not even in the mouth. On the Senko? What? On the Senko. Yeah, that's your Senko. You want to try this? Uh, that's okay. I'll try this and then I'll switch over. Oh, that crawl. It's not going to work. Fish number two. A little ding. Baby fish. You can go. Have you ever caught a black crappie? What's that? Black crappie. I have, yeah. Okay. Actually in Queens. Yeah, there are a lot of black crappies under this tree. Oh. Yeah, I... uh. I caught some small bass, but a lot of crappies here. I would keep them, they're delicious. You want to keep them? Let's try it here. Yeah, if I am around, I just want to catch bass. Yeah, no, there are bass here. Oh, okay. You know, let's go down here. It's going to be a little tricky. Alright. Alright. I'm going to go first. Uh, put your center of gravity down. Should I go on the other side? No, this is the best. Okay. Guys, we're gonna try to catch some uh, fish on this big tree. Last time we have caught some crawfish here, but uh, this time I got a bigger bug. Let's try this out. It's a little bit choppy, and uh, it's actually an advantage. Oh man, that's a big one! Holy crap, this is the first cast on this spot! Holy crap! Come here, baby! No, you're not gonna go anywhere. You not go anywhere. Come down, come down. Oh my gosh, that's a big mondo! Biggest oh. fish of the day! Let's go, baby. Baby, this is the first cast on this spot. There's a little pocket of water. I drop on my bug right in the middle of it. He hits it like hammer. I mean, this guy, oh my gosh, look at this mouse. This guy is super long. I think this is probably 18 or 19 inches. It's very skinny, a male, a feisty male. Whoa! Nice. <laughs> Beautiful fish. Wow. Beautiful fish. 
Let's go. You know, especially in this windy day, those bats, they like to hide out in those kind of uh, surrounded structure. Yeah. They slow down the currents. They just love it. Dude, I'm telling you, when I take people out, it's I'm happier to see someone else catch his fish than myself. Baby bass. Gotta find That's a, a dink, find a bass. You know, this is something that you're looking for, but a uh, keeper size. Yeah. What do you call him on? Huh? What do you call him on? Uh, uh, it's stuck in a tree right now. But, what? Uh, oh, yeah, uh, that, uh, uh, I think the, that the is. The underspin, man, the, the flash, it really helps today. Yeah. Yeah, this shit. Let's go find the big old mama. It's about there. I don't remember which. Oh yeah, this is the spot. I uh, I lost a huge one here. I'm gonna let you cast here, just over this big log. Uh -huh. Cast right there. Okay. Let me get my. Uh... It, it's very it's very slippery. Watch out. Yeah, I know. Very slippery. I think I'm good. Okay. Yeah, cast it right between these two logs. How am I gonna get it back? That's your problem. <laughs> I lost it. Okay. I'll, I'll cast in front of me first to be safe. I'm gonna check out this pocket for you. Wait! I just got a bid! Huh? I just got a bid, I lost it! Holy crap! How could I lost this one? I'm gonna move down a little bit, I'll give you this one. Okay. Really wanna catch a big one before I leave. So. I know, right? I really want you to catch a big one. I know. There you know. Uh, there are a couple of spots down there. Down there? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna check it out. Yeah. I'm gonna try this one more time. Uh, that probably spoke a really possible fish. I got him! I got him, Gary! It's right here! This is gonna break my rod. How am I gonna lift him up here? Alright, I'm gonna do some risky move. Holy oh, shit! I knew he's here! I knew! I knew you are! Yeah! Here! Whoa! This is a probably, let me, uh, let me do an accurate estimate once I get a hook out. I think this, this is probably 2.3. I'm gonna go pound, nice, nice. I'm gonna go pound that real quick. So Whoa! 2.3, nice fish, this is a, these are the third big fish of the day. Holy cow. Well, this fish is not healthy. He's not healthy at all. Look at this big gash here, guys. Guys, look at this big gash here. I don't know 
what it is but this fish has some serious infections here and look at this fin oh my gosh he has some serious infections i hope you can live on and uh, best on your future avenger you can go uh, walk back to the parking lot on the way we're gonna stop by some of the spots that we missed and let's see if we can find some additional big fish this spot oh it's a very hard cast here well there's a two tree here i mean this one is a very hard cast i'm probably gonna try this one uh there's another one down the road you can probably try that Fish on, baby! Wow, that's another mongrel! Woohoo! Ah. You know, this kind of a spot that is hard to get to, you're probably gonna catch fish here. Let's see, this one is not as big, probably a pound or 15 ounce, not even a pound. A nice fish though, oh, much healthier than the last couple. Guys, I am literally standing on the cliff and this tree is holding my back. It's a really hard position and very hard to cast. I'm just like, I'm gonna tough this out. Oh crap, I lost a big one! Holy crap, that was a big bite! Guys, I'm not gonna lie to you, that was a big bite! Like that big fish keep waiting. In there. No, get it behind the trees. So you behind see that tree. log? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. And cast right into those branches. Here? Yeah. Okay. Don't afraid to lose your rig. Just cast right into it. They are in it. If you don't cast it into it, you don't get a fish. Yeah, right. Alright, watch guys. This guy gonna catch a five pounder. Gonna beat my PV here. You ready? Go. There? Yeah. A, a little bit over to the branches. Oh, yeah, it's a very vulnerable place, but uh, yeah. that's where fish is. Ooh, ooh, this is so slippery, Gotti. Yeah, just fine cast that under the tree. What is oh, that? Oh. Is that fish? That was a fish, that was a fish. Really? Yeah. I didn't, oh, I didn't set the hook, I was so confused. I thought I got snagged. Oh man. Sorry, this sorry. Texas rig should have set the hook. Otherwise, if the hook point is in the bait, you're not gonna okay, hurt him. Okay, okay. Oh man, that could be. And no, I see your it. your rod bends pretty much, bends a lot. Yeah, I didn't see like the you know the usual uh, like there wasn't like a bite. It was I thought I got snagged. Yeah, big fish is like that. Yeah. If you see if you feel the bite, that was a small fish. A big fish, you just feel like snag. Yeah. All right. Man, oh my oh, gosh. No, okay. I'm gonna get it. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. This is the spot. There it is. There it is. Got it! Whoa! Got it! Oh yes! Oh man, you got him! Got him up here! Gary finally got his first big fish! Let's go! Let's go, man! Thank you, teacher. <laughs> yes. Gary finally caught his large ones bass, a decent one. Oh my gosh, I am so happy for him. Thanks, man. Damn. Good job, man. Hey. All right, guys, let's move on. Oh, that fish is not gonna bite me.
go down the gutter and Okay. Fish on. This is not big. Less than a pound. Yeah, it's like the one I got. <laughs> it's smaller than the one you got. Huh? It is actually smaller than the one you got. Your fish is probably a pound. This one is not even a pound. All right. You can go. Thank you for the play. Let's go. Yeah, what time is it? 35, dude. It's 5.35? Yeah, it's 5 right now. Oh, really? Okay. Guys, we have fished six hours here. Uh, it's not as productive as the last session, but uh, today is much colder. Take that into perspective. We have caught some good fish. I got uh, three or four big ones, I don't remember. And uh, the most exciting thing is, is that Gary got his first uh, uh, decent largemouth bass here. And uh, he used a crawfish that is much like uh, what I had, but in a different brand. You know, this time of year, I think the uh, creature bait really excels. Ah, it's just a lot of uh, mud, uh, get dirty, a lot of snacks. What do you think? A lot of snacks. A lot of snacks. <laughs> we, we probably lost how many? Five or six rigs today? I think I lost ten. <laughs> Hear that? I mean, I mean, this morning I told him, I was like, you really want to come here? You're going to need a lot of a Texas rig. And he was like, yeah, I have, I have a lot. <laughs> Until this afternoon. And he was like, can I have one more? <laughs> I mean, this is, the, this is the thing, guys. When you're fishing this kind of a structure, it's really easy to get hung up. It's just no matter how good you are at this, it's just, it's just it's inevitable, I'm telling you. I was pretty good at this, and uh, I think I lost a three rig today. It's a pretty good day overall. I just love this uh, Silver Lake. There are just so much laydowns. You can fish, so much structure. You can just drop your base in there, and bam, it hits it. It's just like, it's very predictable. So, all right. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye. You know guys, this kind of fish, they love to stay in that small pockets of this water. It's a perfect place for them to ambush small fish. Look at this. This is a probably half pound. Not a huge one, but uh, we take it. Good fish, huh? Let's let him go.